हेलो एंड वेलकम टू डू आई लाइक इट अ शो जहां हम हर बात पे बात करते हैं इन दिस एपिसोड वेर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ऑस्कर्स द अकेडमी अवार्ड नॉमिनेशन केम आउट अ फ्यू वीक्स बैक और थोड़ा सोच विचारने के बाद कुछ फिल्में रिवॉच करने के बाद I think I have some sense of what might happen on the 10th of March. So let's dig deep into some award predictions, my favorite picks and some snubs. Of course, this goes without saying that all of it is my personal opinion and I'm no filmmaking expert, but yeah, just like always, I have a lot of thoughts. First of all, I have watched all the major tentpole films that were nominated like Oppenheimer, Barbie, Poor Things, etc. But dude, there's just a lot of movies, and to be honest, I haven't seen all of them. But I don't think that should be a problem, because if you know anything about how the voting process for these award functions work, the campaign and narrative around the film is often much more important than the films themselves. So I think I should be good if I didn't watch The Color Purple or The Letter to a Pig, right? Also, I won't talk about the documentary, short, animated, and international categories. बिकॉज मैंने पाँच में से सिर्फ एक दो फिल्म ही देखी हैं तो इट वुड बी फेयर फॉर मी टू कॉमेंट अबाउट अ कैटेगरी जिसकी मैंने एटलीस्ट चार फिल्म ना देखी हूँ है ना सो येस लेट एस जम्प इन फर्स्ट ऑफ वी हैव सम कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी सराउंडिंग मागट रॉबी स्नब फॉर बेस्ट एक्ट्रेस एंड ग्रेटा गविग नॉमिनेशन फॉर द बेस्ट डायरेक्टर फॉर बाबी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बारबी इज अ सॉलिड मूवी एंड इट इज वन ऑफ द हाइएस्ट ग्रॉसिंग फिल्म ऑफ द लास्ट ईयर तो किसी अवार्ड की जरूरत उसे वैसे है नहीं बट स्टिल आई पर्सनली डोंट थिंक मागट रॉबी एडेड एज मच टू हर परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द रोल दैट वुड हैव डिजर्व द नॉमिनेशन स्पेशली नॉट अबव पीपल लाइक ग्रेटा ली फॉर पास्ट लाइव्स और केली स्पेनी इन प्रिसिला परफॉर्मेंसेस दैट वर फार सुपीरियर देन रॉबीज एंड डिन गेट नॉमिनेटेड आई थिंक इट just was a damn good year at the movies आई ऑनेस्टली थिंक अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैड अ प्रॉब्लम विथ रैन गोसलिंग गेटिंग नॉमिनेटेड ओवर मागट but i think even his nomination was a stretch <laughs> he was the best part of the film no doubt but i've seen better supporting performances than his last year one category barbie should actually win is the best production design for the insane sets that were made but other than that i don't think barbie was the best that cinema had to offer this year the real snubs for me are films like bo is afraid dream scenario and asteroid city what's the matter with that dude but okay let's talk about the actual awards now starting with the supporting actor categories i think oppenheimer will take both of these home for me it is robert downey jr for best supporting male and emily blunt for best supporting female i haven't watched danielle brooks in the color purple yet so tell me how her performance was but yeah dude oppenheimer it is i think both their performances were at par if not better than killian murphy in the lead such a confident performance by robert downey jr right the man carried the fusion section of the film on his shoulders after this come the writing awards and i think justine triet and arthur harari should win best original screenplay for anatomy of a fall what a beautifully written film the whole funda of a courtroom drama uncovering the cracks in a relationship was just genius it is the anatomy of a literal fall and the fall of a relationship kya baat hai but i wouldn't be surprised if it goes to the holdovers as well that too was a damn good screenplay but i think anatomy of a fall was an overall fresher and a well rounded script holdovers se kafi wo dead poet society wali vibe aayi and of course the best adapted screenplay again goes to oppenheimer no questions asked if you've read the script of this film it is a master class in visual writing let me tell you a small anecdote this is when i had already watched the film twice theater mein and i wanted to watch it another time but i didn't want to sell my kidney for another imax ticket to maine online picture ki script padhni shuru kari and dude it was like i got transported in the theater all over again the trinity test scene is written exactly as it appears on screen i don't even know how someone does this it could be greta gerwig for barbie 2 or american fiction but in my heart i know it is nolan for sure by the way this episode would be me fanboying over nolan and oppenheimer through and through it was my favorite film of 2023 and that was for a reason to bhai main to bahut sare oscar de raha hu oppenheimer ko let us see how many of them actually come true but yeah let's continue next up we have some technical awards and here too it is a clean sweep for oppenheimer except the visual effects award which let's talk about that more than barbie ka best actress snub i think dneg and oppenheimer not even being nominated for the best visual effects was an undeniable snub see it is a best visual effects award and not a best cgi award hai na 
मतलब तुम कितने अच्छे से एक विजुअल इफेक्ट को क्रिएट कर रहे हो और कितने अच्छे से उसको सेल कर रहे हो यूजिंग फिल्म मेकिंग टेक्निक्स लाइक परस्पेक्टिव लेंसिंग लाइटिंग मिनियेचर्स एंड ऑफकोर्स सी जी आई इज अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट नाउ ओपन हाइमर अचीव सम इन सेन इफेक्ट विद मिनिमल टू नो सी जी आई बट ऑल दी अदर एस्पेक्ट वर ऑन पॉइंट एंड इट लुक्स सो डोप ऑन स्क्रीन फॉर एग्जाम्पल द टाइम्स वेन ओपन हाइमर वर्ल्ड डिस्टॉर्ट एज ही टॉकिंग अबाउट द टेस्ट राइट दे डिड ऑल ऑफ दैट इन कैमरा सेम बैकग्राउंड को एक्टर के पीछे प्रोजेक्ट करा एंड देन दे शुक द प्रोजेक्शन टू अचीव दैट शेकी एंड वर्ल्ड शैटरिंग इफेक्ट इफ दैट इज इंट प्योर सिनेमैटिक जीनियस आई डोंट इवन नो वट इज सो नॉट इवन नॉमिनेटिंग दैट वॉज अ बिट मच एस्पेशली आफ्टर यूव गिवन टू ऑफ नोलन फिल्म टेनेट एंड इंटरस्टेलर द सेम अबाउट प्रीवियसली इट इज एन अवार्ड फॉर द बेस्ट इफेक्ट नॉट द मोस्ट इफेक्ट राइट बट एनी वे आउट ऑफ द करंट फिल्म आई थिंक मिशन इम्पॉसिबल वुड गेट दिस for its seamless blend of real stunts and cgi to create some breathtaking effects but other than that for the technical awards it is oppenheimer season hoyta van hoytema gets best cinematographer for capturing some of the most beautiful human portrait shots on an imax film and that black and white work oof have to give it to him dude a close second for me would be matthew libertique for maestro and for best sound you again have oppenheimer and this is not just for that trinity sequence although i think us ek scene ke liye is film ko koi award to milna chahiye it's a short film in itself but other than that there was just an inspired use of sound effects and how it blended with the score and how it gave each machine each clock ka tick tock a different story to tell the use of those rhythmic low rumble sound effects really added a sense of urgency in those sequences top tier work for the next one i am not even going to do any guesses i am telling you it is ludwig goransson for best original score for oppenheimer of course just the piece can you hear the music is enough to win every musical award in the world the soundtrack to the film is some of the freshest and most exciting work in film music and now the award i predicted the moment i stepped out of the theater best editing If anyone other than Jennifer Lame gets it for Oppenheimer, I would personally be offended. <laughs> See, editing different timelines is hard, and here you are dealing with at least three different timelines in black and white and color. On top of that is the complex storytelling structure. On top of that is holding tension for crucial scenes like can you hear the music or the Trinity test, and to do all of that on film. it is some next level skill bhai <laughs> i love the way the edit worked with the screenplay to create this non chronological but an emotionally linear experience if you can feel me like the final scene of the film actually happens in the middle of the timeline of events but emotionally character wise it is such a beautiful climax i wouldn't have wanted the film to end any other way it's stuff like that that makes sure oppenheimer is getting the best editing award इसके बाद आता है मेकअप एंड स्टाइलिंग एंड आई एम नो एक्सपर्ट बट फ्रॉम अ जनरल ओवरव्यू आई थिंक इट शुड बी गिवन टू माई स्ट्रो अदर दैन द स्टीरियो टिपिकल जूश नोज आई रियली लाइक द ओल्डर लुक ऑफ ब्रैडली कूपर एंड ऑल द वर्क दैट वॉज पुट इन द कैरेक्टर सेम फॉर बेस्ट कॉस्ट्यूम एंड प्रोडक्शन डिजाइन आई हैव जीरो डिजाइन एंड एस्थेटिक सेंस बट आई थिंक बारबी इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग कंटेंडर फॉर बोथ ऑफ दम सो इज किलर्स ऑफ द फ्लार मून एक्चुअली ओके नाउ लेट एस गो टू द बिग फोर अवार्ड द बेस्ट फिल्म डायरेक्टर एंड एक्टर First up the best actress. I think it has to go to either Emma Stone for Poor Things or Sandra Hewler for Anatomy of a Fall. I'm a bit biased for Sandra Hewler because I liked Anatomy of a Fall far better and Emma Stone already has a best actress Oscar. So my final pick is Sandra Hewler. The next category is by far the hardest for me to judge. Agar main Oscar jury ka member hota to bhai main nakli naam se 3-4 votes dal deta sabke liye. The best actor and by whom nominees are known: Bradley Cooper for Maestro, Colman Domingo for Rustin. Full disclosure: I haven't watched that film yet. Paul Giamatti for The Holdovers, one of the best non-biopic performances I saw last year. Jeffrey Wright for American Fiction, and of course, Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer. Now, the Oppenheimer fanboy in me wants to give it to Killian Sida. <laughs> But upon further thought, two more contenders emerge, and that is Paul Giamatti and Bradley Cooper. And if I'm being completely honest and unbiased, I think Bradley Cooper's performance as Leonard Bernstein is something that this category was actually made for. Don't get me wrong, Killian Murphy was fab as usual, but I think the script and the direction had more to do with that. But for Maestro, not much worked in the favor of the film except Bradley Cooper's performance. And for the film to get so much appreciation despite not being the best craft-wise. 
<laughs> that speaks something about the leading man's performance. So I think for me, the Oscar for the best actor would go to Bradley Cooper for Maestro. Now we come to the best director category, and again, you would think that it's an easy win for Nolan. But how I look at it, it's not as straightforward as it seems. There is Justin Triet with Anatomy of a Fall, a great emotional spin on an age-old format of a courtroom drama. Then there is Martin Scorsese with Killers of the Flower Moon, and let's be honest, Scorsese भाई camera पे कुछ भी shoot करेगा Oscar jury उसे best बोलेगी. It's not like Killers is a bad film, not at all, but I think the hype is more because of Scorsese rather than the actual merit of the film. The film has a lot of flaws, let's say. And then there's the person who will actually win this award, Christopher Nolan, of course. But there is a reason for that. One practical reason and one spiritual, artistic reason. See, Oscars में ना एक बड़ा अजीब फिनोमिना होता है, जिसे Legacy Awards कहते हैं. वैसे ये हर awards में होता है, but Oscars और Grammys में बहुत ज़्यादा noticeable है जी. अब मान लो एक डायरेक्टर ने अपने करियर के स्टार्ट में एक मूवी बनाई जो एकदम इंस्टेंट क्लासिक सी बन गई बट उस साल बिकॉज ऑफ सम रीजन दैट डायरेक्टर और एक्टर डिंट विन दैट अवार्ड नाउ इट बिकम द लेगेसी थिंग कि भाई हाउ केन दिस फिल्म बी स्न सो इयर्स लेटर वेन एवर अ गुड इनफ फिल्म बाय दैट डायरेक्टर और दैट एक्टर कम्स द जूरी सॉर्ट ऑफ बिकम्स कंपेल्ड टू गिव दम दैट अवार्ड नॉट नेसेसरी फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर फिल्म बट टू एड एन ऑस्कर इन दैट पर्सन ट्रॉफी कैबिनेट For example, when Spike Lee was given the best adapted screenplay for Black Klansman in 2019, instead of Do the Right Thing, Bamboozled, or the Malcolm X film, like I can be dead sure that Tarantino ki agli film ke liye he'll get a best director for sure, even if it is half decent, just because he doesn't have one right now. Ab I'm not saying that Nolan doesn't deserve the Oscar for Oppenheimer. Of course he does, but the fact that he has never had a directing Oscar will be a major factor in solidifying his chances. And also, as I've said in many other videos, the best director isn't just the director of the best film. To me, a director is someone who leaves their unique mark on a film by their use of cinematic tools. And I think Nolan did that the best last year. Like, my litmus test for a good directorial job versus just a good film is to think how different would the film be if this particular person had not directed it. Man, लो अगर same script, same budget, same actors किसी और director को देते तो क्या वो सेम ही फिल्म बनाता है या कुछ अलग कुछ यूनिक बनाता एंड सरप्राइजिंगली फॉर मोस्ट फिल्म द मैजिक रियली लाइज इन द स्क्रिप्ट एंड द स्टोरी नॉट रियली इन द डायरेक्टर बट फॉर समथिंग लाइक ओपन हाइमर द स्टोरी वुड हैव बीन टोल्ड इन अ टोटली डिफरेंट मैनर इफ समवन एल्स वर टू डायरेक्ट इट चाहे तुम स्क्रिप्ट भी सेम आड़ी टेढ़ी करके दे दो उसे वो मतलब अलग ही फिल्म बनाता एंड दैट्स वाई क्रिस्टोफर नोलन शुड एंड वुड गेट द बेस्ट डायरेक्टर ऑस्कर एंड नाउ For the award, the best picture, no points for guessing. It will be Oppenheimer again. I don't even know how many awards this film is getting, but yes, this film's ki direction, screenplay, cinematography, editing, score, acting, sound, sab kuch hi best ho. It is hard not to give the film the ultimate Academy Award. I think we don't witness this kind of a sweep that is so well deserved. You know, I don't think there would be a lot of people who would have issues with Oppenheimer winning all of these awards. And if you are one, please let us have a chat in the comments. I would love to hear your picks. And yes, this was this rather long and deep dive into the Academy Awards 2024. I think Oppenheimer is cleaning up all the awards. My final award tally looks something like this. So let us check back on the 10th of March to see कि इसमें से कितने सही थे और कितने गलत. तब तक के लिए the comment section is open. Shoot your favorites from American cinema last year. This was Pratik Lidhu, and as always. I'll see you in the next episode of Do I Like It. Have a great day.